Constitution. As the word suggests, you are putting one thing in place of another. And in this case, we are putting a number or a numeral in place of a pronumeral or variable. All right. Now, this up here is our equation. And the reason we call these letters variables or pronumerals is because we can use any of these numbers here in their place. OK, and when these numbers are substituted in as values for G, that will also mean that M will change. So we don't know what the answer is yet because we don't know what part of the question is. All right. If you think of this expression here, this part of the equation as a question and this as the answer, if we don't know what that is, we don't know what that is. OK, it's just like saying. Um, my mum turned one year older this year. How old is she? Well, none of you know because you don't know how old my mum was before that. OK, so equations with pronumerals in them are like that. You need to have that known or that known. You can't have two unknowns and still find an answer. So when G equals four, we can write, oops, it's not X. What are you doing? It's M. All right, so when G take two equals M, The name of the game here is substitution. So the idea is to substitute, not rewrite the equation. And this is why you don't talk and do maths, people. OK, so we're going to substitute G for the value 4. When 4 take 2, our M now becomes 2. So that used to be G, that used to be M. But we actually substituted the G for a 4, and that meant that our M now became a 2. When G equals 5, M equals 3. I might make those a little bigger so you can actually see them. And I still don't know if you can see them. Can we see those? Yes. Thank yes. you. All right. And when G equals two, M will equal zero. And when G equals one hundred and two, M equals one hundred. It really is that simple. No tricks, nothing up my sleeve. It really is just that simple. OK, you're replacing letters with numbers. OK. I'm going to stop the recording and then we'll have some questions. OK.